Community Viewpoint with John Pollock and Maria Hurst. And welcome once again to another segment of Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for the segment. And this segment's going to be dedicated to the veterans um, locally. Uh, in the county and in the state. Uh, I'm here talking about something called the Green Zone Initiative and we have as our guest today uh, Dr. Tom Waters who had the good fortune with myself to go to a conference, uh, when was that last? Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday it was at the, the City Hall for Las Vegas um, kicking off basically the Green, green Zone Initiative with all the people throughout the, the state of Nevada. We had the, the governor, Governor Sandoval was there for a short time in the morning, mm -hmm. James Oscarson, we had, uh, we had you there, and uh, many notable people. And uh, what the Green Zone Initiative is dedicated to is for the uh, local, uh, well the state, there's the emblem we have uh, from the, the initiative. Uh, the vision of the, the, the initiative is to create a statewide community that maximizes support of service to Nevada's veterans, which it includes the two of us and many of you out there. Absolutely. Uh, our mission is to, let me read it so I, I get it correct, is to be a statewide coordinator between local, state, and federal agencies, service organizations, and then for-profit and not uh, for profit communities in order to deliver the highest level of services to Nevada's veterans, service members, their families, and the families of the fallen. So we were there for an, an all day uh, a conference, and the, the Green Zone Initiative uh, will zero in on uh, three major uh, stuff, uh, items that for the veterans. One is employment for us, wellness, and education. And then it's consisting right now of a, a hierarchy of like a uh, advisory board, like you're on already. Yes. Of uh, what's it called? It is called the Veterans Community Councils. And right now there are ten, ten folks on there. Ten, ten identified of, of twenty that's going to be across the state. And uh, we were lucky to have Dr. Waters on that. Uh, he was over there. He forgot to duck when they asked for another volunteer. And uh, so you're. Uh, on that board with nine other uh, uh, folks, and uh, did you want to? What do you want to talk about? Uh, oh, you you went to, we went to different uh, breakout sessions. I went to one that dealt with wellness and suicide prevention, crisis prevention, and Dr. Waters went to one for the uh, for the women veterans. Right, and why did you go to that one? I went to that one because um, I know uh, Marine First Sergeant uh, Jose Teas is putting together something on November 9th for the women veterans. And I wanted to see exactly what the state of Nevada had as far as what they were putting together. And all of this works right well to, very well together. Uh, here in Pahrump, we didn't realize we had as many women veterans as we do. Uh, we know some of them, but mm -hmm. we didn't realize just how many we have. And we'd like to recognize all of them for their service. Um, tremendous asset. And sometimes we forget about our women veterans. We think about the men. We think about uh, the guys drinking beer or whatever else together. We forget about our women. And they are, again, a vital asset to our military. And we'll be uh, promoting them. We'll be acknowledging them, uh, respecting them a little bit more than we have in the past. Absolutely. So what we'd like to do, if you're watching and you're a veteran, uh, the ladies, you know, please uh, come forward. You could go to the DAV, you could go to the VFW, uh, come see Dr. Waters too, and, and uh, find out how to get yourself recognized. And, and if you would like to become part of the volunteerism in our town, uh, we need new. <laughs> we need new blood. We need different. Um, different ways of thinking about uh, the veterans and about volunteerism. We, we just need a different, uh, different folks in there to take, take up the banner for the, the, older, the older ones that are over there. Let me say too that what I plan to have at the town office is the application and it's the uh, Nevada Women's Veterans uh -huh. and this way they can get connected. Just fill out this application and send it in. It's got a, an email address they can send it to. Mm -hmm. uh, just the information. It doesn't matter what branch of service you're in or we're in. Um, we'd like to know who the women veterans are. And this would put you in with the entire state of Nevada. So um, I, I'm going to 
again, we'll have the forms readily available at the town office. All you need to do is stop by. And if you don't want to come by, um, you can get in touch with me and I'll make sure you have the email address to get that information turned in. You know, you could throw some of those up over at the clinic too. Perfect, yes. yes. And uh, Bruce is over there, Bruce Cox or Absolutely. anybody else. Yeah, because that would be another good uh, conduit to uh, bring those uh, the ladies forward. So I'll make sure Bruce has some of these. Yes. Now he doesn't work at the front desk anymore. But I know he's back. He's got a better job now. He's got a better job. Yes, he's moving up in the world. He's moving in the back <laughs> in the world. But we had we had a lot of literature. We had a lot of uh, good people speaking to us uh, on the initiative. And there's going to be a fantastic website. Uh, how do we get on there? It's uh, greenzonenetwork.org. And uh, what I'm excited about there is a uh, not, not like, well, it's sort of like Facebook too. Yes. Uh, the veterans could come over there. Thank you for that. And uh, we could uh, speak to the each other and the other folks uh, in the green zone and relay our concerns and tell the people what it's on our mind rather than going to maybe someone we, we may not trust. So mm -hmm. if we put it out there, just like we do on Facebook or you put it on Facebook, uh, and maybe someone else will grab it and, and uh, that has the same issues and the, they, we could talk back and forth and it's monitored too so some doctor some psychologist or some probably come in there and uh, connect with us also but the, this sounds like it's it, it's really good I, I got on it yesterday so I'm gonna hopefully I'll get some uh, feedback uh, uh, today or tomorrow but I think I think this will work because it's 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 all encompassing and it's, it's a lot friendly friendlier format I think it is you know, the, the biggest part to that is we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, the things that will be on the, on the website and for the Green Zone Initiative all together is putting everything together that a veteran need to survive. Whether it's health care, whether it's whatever it is, the education part, uh, where can I go to, to a school that's going to accept some of my military training? Those things will be there and that way you don't have to dig out dig it all out for yourself everybody's putting it together We're, and again it was put to, it, I want to say this it was put up front by the governor the governor said for the state of Nevada we're gonna make this work we're gonna make it work for our veterans we want to do something for them and it's all encompassing the other person that spoke to us was the Honorable Allison Hickey undersecretary for benefits from Department of Veteran Affairs and she gave and I want to say too, I want to give her a pat on the back. She's a retired Air Force Brigadier General. So uh, I want to talk about the Air Force for a second. But now she's uh, undersecretary, and she was talking about the backlogs and in, in, in applications and how they're, they're working on those things. She gave a wonderful uh, overview of everything, including suicide prevention. And then we had a colonel that talked about suicide prevention and how we'd like to go ahead and reduce that. So again, the meeting, the Green Zone Initiative meeting, the entire conference on Wednesday was very beneficial to everybody that was there. Yeah, and she was talking about trying to get the claims, uh, bring those, uh, the, the time it takes to make a claim. Absolutely. Uh, they've done a lot for that, even though there's been cutbacks because this the, the sequester. Yes. Uh, they're still working diligently and to bring down the uh, the, the, the time that, that it takes for the claims to be processed. And there's a new way of doing it also. You could uh, file your claim and before they sit down and figure it out, they'll move forward on it nowadays yes. too. And then... Uh, uh, then later on, if there, there are issues, then, oh, well, I got my service already. But uh, so they're bending over uh, backwards. Some of the people are uh, trying to uh, bring down that log jam that we've had, even though there, there are issues with the sequester. And uh, so things are happening uh, uh, for the good, plus the Green Zone Initiative, which we're, we're a part of. And uh, uh, there's people at the Night Community Coalitions that will be part of this also, and hopefully it'll it'll grow and we'll have more people in, in the town here and in the county also. Absolutely. Yes. And that's one of the reasons for the uh, Veterans Community Councils is to get the people within the communities talking to each other, and that will expand the, the resources available on the website. So, uh, again, I was selected to be the representative for Pahrump. Uh, we have Joni Eastley who is going to be handling Tonopah, 
but we're going to have uh, they've identified 10 across the state and they're going to identify 10 more so there'll be 20 across the state and I've already had people sign up to work with me to make sure that Pahrump is recognized it, it won't be just me it'll be all the veterans working together all the veteran organizations working together and we're going to make this happen so you get the, the big bucks for doing that? How much you get paid for oh, that? Oh, we get the we get the big bucks. We get the same amount of pay that the town board gets. <laughs> as a matter of fact. <laughs> so this is all volunteerism, folks, and it's just the goodness of the, the veterans, uh, like uh, the doctor and and other folks. And uh, so this is. It looks like this will work, but it, it depends on us and it depends on you. Uh, if you get out there, you want it to make it uh, work. It it'll work. Oh, like Dr. Uh, Tom said, we have the uh, he'll have the uh, the uh, the brochures there, the uh, uh, request for the the female uh, veterans uh, at the town office, and uh, they'll be at the hopefully they'll be at the uh, the clinic also. Do we know anything about the clinic? Or yes, we yes, we know something about the clinic, and uh, I think the only things that we can say right now is the fact that the clinic, the new clinic for the the veterans, have been funded. And uh, right now, it's in contracting, and contracting is looking at it, and when they're ready to release, their information will get more. There's no way we'll be without a clinic. There is no way at this point that we're going to be without a clinic. Again, the clinic has already been funded, Right. and um, the money is there. They're just looking for the place to put it. Um, I would like more feedback from them as, and to, to keep us up to date on things. And I have to say that Assemblyman James Oscarson He's working very closely with the uh, congressman's office and the senator's offices to make sure that we receive enough information to know what's going on in those areas. And Jim was there at the uh, the conference also. James Oskerson was yes. there at the, at the Green Zone Initiative conference. and uh, He was I, networking like a son of a gun over there absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yes. He does his thing and uh, we're so proud of him. Yes. So uh, the people are there. They're, uh, we have the, the people who are looking striving to do something good they're they're out there like dr waters J uh, james and the other folks that we've met so uh come on aboard um join the initiative uh, go online and that uh, website again is greenzonenetwork.org yeah. uh see what it's all about and then uh you just register put get yourself a an id a password and uh they give you the you they ask you some uh, minor questions and who you are um, and you're on and then you'll be able to uh, be part of the the system and ask some questions and hopefully get some answers uh, from the Green Zone Initiative and the network. So once again we work with, we'll be working with employment, wellness and education, the three uh, the top things that uh, are um, in the, the spotlight right now and the local uh, uh, folks, there's 10 over, I don't want to say overseers, but they're, what, what do you call? Veteran Community Councils. Yeah, that sounds better than overseers. And there'll be 20. And it'll just be the more people, uh, more people to marry, or you'll have more uh, input, and hopefully we'll have more output. So I want to thank you, Dr. Uh, Waters, for being here this evening. And remember November what? November 9th at 10 o'clock at the Chief Tacopa Cemetery at the Veterans Memorial Section. So let's get the folks out there to make this worthwhile. And the ladies, please, veterans, get out there, be be part of it. Don't let the men take it over. You, you, you help and you make it what you want it to be. So I want to thank you and thank you for watching. And thank you, Ian. And we'll see you in the segment number two.